Well, it's nine o'clock in the morning. They just opened the doors up. About 30 people filed in there. We'll all stand in, in line at the service desk. That's where they hand out the different ammo. Still looking for 22 long rifle. I got those subsonic the other day, but I need something. I need some, I was hoping to get CCI long rifle uh, hollow points, but right now I'm ready to take anything they have. All right, $9.62. They would have let me buy three of them, and I decided to buy just one. I don't waste ammo anymore. I don't uh, load up 25 round magazine and just blast them off as fast as I can like I used to. I'll probably use three to 10 of these to zero the rifle, and then the rest of them will be used sparing. All right, here's my Ruger 1022 takedown that I bought about a week ago. It's sort of been waiting for the right opportunity to try it out. Had trouble finding ammo. 22 ammo is pretty much non-existent. Let's go ahead and take it. Let's go ahead and put it together. When you look at the Ruger 1022 online, they have all kinds of different looking cases. So this is the case that we have currently, I guess. And nothing in the chamber and it is on safe. There's shoot, there's safe. Right, just take, stick it in there, give it a little twist and it locks right in place. now let's go ahead and start off with the 1300 feet per second rounds there's the mag release right here push it forward and I'm just gonna put five in there And then the bolt release is right here. And we have chambered around. Still on safe. Let's go ahead and take a few shots. I'm gonna go for about an inch and a half. set it up down there at about I don't know 20 yards 15 yards 20 yards Let's take it off safe and see what it'll do. See, right now I'm gonna have to go get my glasses. And we are on safe. I've never shot with glasses before, so it's gonna be a new experience, but I know people shoot with glasses all the time, so I ought to be able to do it. Take it off safe. Let's see if I can see it now with glasses on. Can't see it. Can't see it with glasses, can't see it without glasses. Let me see if it's better without glasses.
No. I can't pinpoint that uh, inch and a half black circle. I believe I can hit the cardboard, but that's not gonna be accurate enough for squirrel hunting. Let me just see what I can do. All right, all three of those was high and right. A little bit right and too much high, really. Let's take these last two shots, take it off safety and see if I can hit it at just, I don't know, 12 yards. See if I can see it at all. see that pretty good. Put it on safe. All right, that was a lot better. Had one, they were both high and one was to the right. Let's try the subsonic now. Rifle is on safe. Let's see if it's even gonna feed these. Those are 1300 feet per second. This is 740, 710 feet per second. So it's gonna be a lot quieter. It's not gonna break the sound. It's not gonna do that crack when, cause it's not gonna break the sound barrier, but it'll still, you'll still hear a little pop. Let's see how these are gonna do now. I mean, if I have to cycle this by hand, I don't care. I'm not gonna be shooting that fast. I guess I could have knocked down that kudzu right there. I didn't notice it till just now. Let's see what these little subsonics will do now. Take it off safe. Yeah, see it didn't cycle it, but I don't mind cycling it myself. Put it back on safe. All right, here's my first three shots at 20 yards. And Oh, then I took two more shots at about 12 yards. And then I switched to the subsonic and hit the target all three times. And this is in the greatest light lighted conditions that you could have. So I'm definitely gonna have to try a scope. 
Sonic was also, subsonic was also at 12 yards. All right, we're still on safe. I still have two subsonic in there, one in the chamber, one in the magazine. And we'll lock it back and go ahead and disassemble it, put it away. All right, let's put it all back. All right, I'll get used to it. If I have to buy a scope for it, so be it. Today I want to finish off our Wednesday in the life video with an empty BIC ignition. I've got a video link right here and it'll take you to where I ignited 13 different tenders with an empty BIC. And I think I did use cardboard in that one. As with all fire making, Many times it just breaks down to how much time and effort are you willing to put into processing it, getting it fine enough to where it'll ignite and catch well. Might have to do this on fast forward because cardboard takes a good bit of time to break it on down fine enough to get it up in here and let that mini ferro rod ignite it. So let's get started. Plenty of paper now. I'm gonna stress it out as much as I can, soften it up as much as I can. And that is really broken down a good bit. If we can get some light on it. We'll roll it up, get it kind of pointy. We'll stick it right down in here. Hold it with your finger right there. What makes this difficult is that this is so slick right here. So as you try to hold it in there with your finger, it wants to try to slip out on you. Let's go ahead and try that. Not too hard. I mean, if you're willing to just take the time and process it up.
and not smother it out as you're trying to build it up. Always very important. All right, y'all. I enjoyed working out and getting my first few shots, my first eight shots with my new Ruger 1022 takedown. Uh, I'm not done with it. I have a lot more practice I want to do with it, and looks like I'm going to need a scope. So I appreciate you joining me on a Wednesday in the Life video. We'll catch you on the next one.